The Christian life is a calling to struggle. And throughout all the ages, Christians have struggled with the world, the flesh, the devil. Christians have struggled with the passions to overcome the self-will and the fallen nature within us, our own sins. But we as Christians today in the 21st century face new hazards, new struggles that even some of the greatest Christians of the past didn't have to face. There is a story from the Desert Fathers of a disciple who approaches his elder and says, we fast, we keep all the commandments. What will the Christians be like who follow us? And the elder said to him, they won't perform miracles. They won't be so ardent in their faith. And the disciples said, and what of the Christians after them? The Christians who follow in the last days. To which the elder said, very little faith will exist in those days. But those who hold on to their faith will win a crown far more glorious than those won by us who perform miracles. Because we, as Christians today, yes, face the same passions, the same struggles that Christians have always faced. We have to overcome our self-will, our desires, our selfishness and so on. But we also face a world that tells us God is not there. We face a world that tells us it is foolishness to deny ourselves. We are deluded when we pray. I've heard people describe religious faith as insanity. We face a new paradigm that is anti-faith itself. The earliest Christians lived amongst pagans who, though deluded and heretical and so on, at least believed, understood the nature of belief. We as Christians today face a culture that is bankrupt spiritually, that is empty of faith, that places its hope in idolatry, materialism, the ego. And so as Christians today, we must see not only the passions from within, the pressures from without, but understand and recognize this new paradigm that bears down on us and on our children. But we must also have hope Remember, we must, no matter how small that faith is, hold on to it. Even if it's as small as a mustard seed. Nurture it, allow it to grow within us. Believe in the promise of the coming crowns.